absolute turbulent last 72 hours or so for Helldivers 2 in the fight for managed democracy, but in that span, the true value of the communal response from the player is something that can absolutely be seen to make an impact and is a testament to the player base and the power the player base holds. Today, I want to fill you in on the entire situation and discuss the current resolution currently at play here for the Helldivers community. Drop your thoughts, drop a like, and make sure to subscribe for more Helldivers 2 and other FPS coverage, especially as we gear up for the COD reveal season. I'd love to have in the community, but for now, let's jump into it. Here's what happened. So Sony announced recently PC players must link a PlayStation account, otherwise they wouldn't be able to continue to be able to play. That was supposed to go in effect as of today, but what was interesting is that the very beginning here, this was contrary to what we had seen from launch until up until this point. You could link an account, but whether by error or intentional, it was said it was some technical limitations as to why it wasn't enforced, but you could skip it entirely up until this announcement. Like myself, I have a PlayStation account, but I never linked the two together with Helldivers. The problem was though, was that it was mandatory, or at least that was one step of the problem, meaning that you would not be able to play at all if you didn't link after this update was supposedly going to go in effect. But what is worse is that the PlayStation Network isn't available in a hundred plus countries. Over half the countries in the world would thus be rendered unable to play Helldivers 2. So obviously you can see where that is a huge concern. And sure, you might be able to use a VPN if you care that much, you want to circumnavigate that, but that's also against PSN's terms of service, thus could result in a ban. Beyond that, the game was also delisted in those countries, so players who had bought the game previously could no longer play it while this was going on. So players who had previously paid for played up until that announcement and everything in between, they loved it, put their time and effort and money into it, they could not play the game. Even if it was in the Steam library, it just, it wasn't available to be played. So it was taken away from them with no consolation or anything like that. So yeah, people rightfully were pissed. Now the whole situation became an absolute mess and naturally, well then that showed in the reviews for Helldivers 2. The one pun that I found the most funny with this was Orbital Review Bomb. But anyways, this was something that was like just, it was unprecedented. I don't think that I'd seen anything like this before. And the only thing that I can really think of in regards to a massive rating bomb, my mind immediately from the FPS space goes to Infinite Warfare's reveal trailer. You know, like the one that to date has almost 4 million dislikes and to date is still the 25th most disliked YouTube video ever. At the time, I think that it was, I want to say in the top 10, and I do remember for a while it was the most disliked trailer video ever. But anyways, reviews were bombarded. With nearly 300,000 reviews in the last 72-ish hours, with nearly 100,000 negative reviews in one day, they ended up taking the game from mostly positive to overwhelmingly negative on these Steam reviews in three days span. And one of the things that I found the craziest was that amidst this entire fiasco, Sony had changed their language on FAQ in terms of service pages for Helldivers after it had started to take buzz, as if players wouldn't notice that kind of stuff. I mean, like, we literally just saw this with how Tarkov's Unheard Edition went and how horribly sketchy that made Battlestate look after changing the language there. So to see them even attempt that was kind of comical to a degree, but also like, it was, it was just bad to see. It's like, did you really think that we wouldn't catch that? But anyways, months and months of goodwill and just proper storytelling and management of a live service game. Like I've talked about this plenty of times. I think that Helldivers up until this point was doing everything right. Like live services for a lot of people negatively connotated, but they ended up coming in and giving us a good live service game. But it seemed to in every capacity want to make the game as best for players as possible in this situation entirely wiped out by a publisher's dumb decision then they initially doubled down on it like all that goodwill just gone now yeah i'm sure why you can probably point towards some studio messaging that wasn't the best it did suck to see again all that goodwill all those good intentions from arrowhead with the game just being dragged through the mud as a result of sony's decision to disenfranchise a large amount of the player base arrowhead had even encouraged the negative reviews to let it be known to let those frustrations be aired out but to know that it was a sony decision not an arrowhead thing it even got to the point where steam was offering unconditional refunds for a time where no matter how many hours you put into the game well above their standard policies you could end up getting a refund for those in affected areas by the psn outages and it might have even just been in general not 100 sure on that one but it got to the point where hell divers 
finally and rightfully won against the giant corporation of Sony. Sony ended up announcing on PlayStation, Helldivers fans, we've heard your feedback on the Helldivers 2 account linking update. The May 6th update, which would have required Steam and PlayStation Network account linking for new players and for current players beginning May 30th, will not be moving forward. We're still learning what is best for PC players and your feedback has been invaluable. Thanks again for your continued support of Helldivers 2, and we'll keep you updated on future plans. So, I mean, that just shows the power of community reception right there. But frankly, that is the first time I think I've seen a massive corporation like this actually backpedal on this kind of thing, which is another win. Not only did we just win and get this sort of thing reverted where it's not going to be anything you have to take into account or you're not going to see any loss in player opportunities because of PlayStation availability in certain areas, but just the fact also that they actually walked it back when we've seen, again, so many other studios, publishers in recent years double down on very stupid decisions for the players, all in the name of trying to make an extra buck or something by pushing a subscription, pushing a whatever it may be. But Sony actually backed down, which I'm pretty surprised by, but obviously very happy with. It's refreshing to see because I feel like so many times, again, we just see that doubling down on an absolutely out of touch decision. So that said, there's still work to do, much like the dog pile that happened with the previously mentioned Infinite Warfare trailer. There were surely a lot of reviews, not saying a majority, but I'm sure there's a bunch out there that probably won't end up reversing their negative review, either because they just don't pay attention after they've reviewed that, they haven't paid attention to the update to the situation, they're just trying to troll the game, whatever the case, they just wanted to add it, who knows? Like, it's great that we had the effective rating bomb campaign that had a proper outcome, and it's great to see so many people are now very clearly reversing the reviews to a positive one, but, I mean, damage overall was absolutely done as a result of Sony and PlayStation pushing of this. And outside of the review perspective, I'm sure that people will be skeptical of anything going further in the future. I mean, trust is a lot easier to lose than it is to gain. So even while we touched on that arrowhead and the actual dev team seemingly just want what's best for the project and their players, even though we're back to square one to where we were like a week or two ago at this point, before the information of account linking and the update upcoming, you can't pretend like nothing happened because the evidence is so clearly there. So while I'd love for 100% of people to recognize, hey, this was Sony screw up, PlayStation screw up, Helldivers is going to have to instill more confidence once again. And I think it's certainly possible the game has, again, as I mentioned, been a beacon of how a development team can work for the player and make an awesome game going forward. It just sucks to see a reputational stain on this game because it's something seemingly out of their control a little bit. Personally, I always thought that if you were to just have an optional account linking with a unique skin reward for linking your accounts, if you really cared about that sign up or the data here with that kind of stuff, don't make it mandatory, but then offer an incentive to do it. I feel like this entire situation is just a non-issue. I don't think that this ever gets off the ground if it's an optional thing. Like, I don't know why Sony was so hellbent on this in the first place, but I mean, it is what it is. The whole 72 hour to 96 hour fiasco is now seemingly concluded, which is definitely nice. And the fight for super earth and managed democracy can continue on. But man, what a situation it was. It sucks to see because again, Helldivers was killing it, I think, in terms of reputation and how everything was perceived. But now we push for the future and hopefully more positivity out there. But anyways, that is the Helldivers fiasco and how it almost all imploded. But let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of this whole situation? Are you glad the account linking is now no longer a thing? Are you glad that players are now no longer restricted geographically from playing the game? I think that was probably one of the biggest things here out of that, if not the biggest thing. But let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, you found it at all insightful. Do me a favor, drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so I'm miss a single thing running all all things Helldivers 2 and other FPS content here in the future. I'd love to have you. But for now, thanks so much for watching. Manas Espresso. I'll see you later. Take care and peace.